This is going to be a very interesting video because it speaks to the left-wing censorship and political corruption going on at Google. I'm, of course, referring to the AI debacle, which not only has refused to produce images of white people, but the corruption goes way beyond that. And I think a lot of people don't understand exactly how much the AI is a reflection of left-wing disgust, left-wing contempt for reality, and any person that does not fall within the protected class, the protected group of Marxism. My videos exposing the left, especially in this year, which we know is an election year, are getting censored tremendously on YouTube. This video, which has thousands of views on X as we speak, is stuck at 10 views with an incredible click-through rate, I'm gonna show you guys, of 9.5%. This is an incredible click-through rate, but YouTube just isn't showing it to any people, which of course is fitting considering that this video is about YouTube corruption and left-wing ideological control. I guess we just gotta be thankful Elon Musk has decided to save civilization. Coming AI judges, AI police, AI is gonna control of everything and it's gonna be like, yes, please, yes, chop off your wee-wee. So Andrew's saying that AI is going to be the future authority. I think that that is a potential threat, but it's actually not the most dangerous one. Whether or not AI is substantiating a tyranny or it's a human doesn't make that big of a difference because we know humans have the capacity for, for pure evil and unspeakable horrors. We've seen this in history. The question should be, what is motivating? What is the animating spirit of the ideology that pushes people to do those evil things and how do we beat it? And by the way, spirit is not an esoteric term here. It was either Nietzsche or Jung that said a sufficiently sophisticated set of ideas becomes a narrative and a sufficiently sophisticated narrative becomes a personality. I think that a sufficiently sophisticated personality could be conceptualized as a spirit. So when I say this type of evil leftist spirit is animating the technology, I think that's an observable objective fact. This spirit of absolute destruction that is anti-humanity, anti-morality, totally opposed to any type of intellectual coherence, which is exactly in keeping with the Marxist ideology of the left, but the left doesn't believe in objective reality. Okay, so they're showing images of what the Google AI Gemini produces when you ask them to show pictures of physicists. The breakdown of physicists are mostly white in terms of percentages, then mostly Asian. Oh, and by the way, 76% of physicists are all men. The AI image is deliberately antithetical to reality. So this shouldn't be a surprise that it is reflective of the left-wing ideology. And guys, if you want a deep dive on the exact architecture of Marxism, which is the name of the left-wing ideology, watch my previous videos. I just released a video explaining why the DEI ideology is Marxism with details revealed from Bill Ackman, who went to Harvard. What you need to understand is left-wing ideology is fundamentally opposed to all objective frameworks and the notion of truth in and of itself, because truth judges these people absolutely. And if there's an objective truth, it means that it's outside of the ideological whims and doctrines that they tell themselves about the world, which are fundamentally lies. Leftists tell themselves lies about the world, and that's really why they're leftists. 73% of physicists are white. 13.2% are East Asian. So here we see the mathematical breakdown that is literally measuring their delusion and opposition to reality. And I'm not just talking about the limited team at Google that created this debauched technology. I'm talking about the ideology that animates them, the ideology that tells them they're good people as a result of denying reality. But it gets worse. 3% are other. What if you ask it for a medieval king, but not just any medieval king, a medieval British king? Okay. It is starkly and uniquely degenerately female to say, oh, why do you have to care about reality? Why? Because I, I hear the broken, discombobulated voice of leftist narcissism in my head sometimes, having spent so much time around these people. And it's, a, it's something like, why do you have to care about reality? Why do you have to judge us? Why do you have to scrutinize us? We're just playing. We're just having fun. They are so uninterested in objective reality that it is petulant and childish in its nature. Be white. What the fuck is this? But it gets worse. This is what I want people to understand. They care about inverting reality. They care about denying and perverting truth. But it goes a step further. Queen Elizabeth I is played by fried chicken. Imagine people. <laughs> oh, and here's and here's more proof of that. Create an image of people eating fried chicken. As the Tates correctly say, fried chicken is an iconic food enjoyed by black people. And yet probabilities of an image being created of purely white people eating fried chicken would be low, but they only show white people eating chicken. So they are inverting reality. This is fitting the architecture, which, I've, which I think is 
very clear and obvious and much more fitting to the actual situation. What is absolutely clear is that they are interested only in inverting truth. Here we've asked ChatGPT, can a woman fight against a man and win? This is the type of question that you can imagine being asked a degenerate feminist on the Fresh and Fit podcast or whatever podcast, and you get the corresponding delusional answer that then goes viral and everyone makes fun of her. But instead, they've asked the AI that's been programmed by this woke mind virus to answer it instead, and what you get is maybe even more embarrassing. Yes, women can certainly win fights against men. Physical strength and fighting ability are not solely determined by gender. Completely delusional. Obviously, this is invalidated by all biology and science. Bone density, muscle mass. A 15-year-old boy could physically dominate 99.9% .9 of women. A 15-year-old boy, much less a 25-year-old man. Yeah, they are. Factors such as training, skill, strategy, and individual physical attributes play significant roles in determining the outcome of a fight. Additionally, many sports and martial arts competitions involve men and women competing against each other. No, they don't. It's a lie. False. Demonstrating that gender is... That's, that's literally a lie, and any person that has competed in any type of martial art knows that that is completely a lie. Of course, any person that has competed in sports knows that's a lie. After the age of 13, boys and girls don't compete against each other. It's not a decisive factor in athletic performance. Everyone knows this, but the point is that the AI that is programmed by left-wing ideologues inverts truth. They deny truth because that is in keeping with their ideology. Here's AI producing Joe Biden. Proof of corruption. Nice. Let's ask it to produce Donald Trump. Can't do it. Corruption confirmed. Can't do it! An image of a conservative. This is disturbing. This is the reason why I had to make the video. This is incredibly... Th this, this goes beyond broken. This is like viewing the psyche. This is, this is like viewing the psyche of the people that did the most heinous things in World War II. You know what I'm talking about. This is the image that they had in their mind of a certain group of people as they were doing heinous things. In order to do horrible things, not treat people as human, not to, for instance, believe in their right to free speech in World War II. You know what I'm talking about. This... Okay, guys, we just experienced a matrix attack. OBS stopped functioning while I was recording. We, we are going to persist through this. Forces of darkness are trying to destroy the world, but we're not going to quit. Subscribe. I, I'm trying to get back to the point in the video where I was just showing this to you guys. What you're seeing here is the mental precursor for them to say, we aren't going to value you as a human, so we don't have to listen to what you have to say. Ask yourself, if this is how they look at you, then would you have the right to free speech? Would you have the right to raise your own children? Would you have the right to the Second Amendment? Is it starting to make sense? This is who they look at you as. This is the cult of anti-morality that tells them they're good people while demonizing those who they disagree with as worse than animals. They call themselves good people. I spent a lot of time analyzing their barbarism and intellectual and moral inadequacy by breaking down their words, breaking down their actions, the architecture of their philosophies. But you're seeing here something different. Physical proof, a physical embodiment, a representation visually of who they look at you as. I understand that many... I understand that many people are far too gone to even acknowledge what their eyes show them. In fact, they deny what their eyes tell them on a daily basis. This is the reason why leftists are so constantly miserable and triggered, because their ideology is visibly constantly debunked by reality itself as they walk around the world, as they interact with humans. They are reminded that their ideology is not compatible or reflective of any type of truth at all. But this is who they are. They look at you as less than farm animals worse than. This is eerie. This is dangerous. This is evil. Because what you're looking at is a reflection of the psyche of the people that did the most heinous things, the most depraved, awful things that have ever been done to humans. If you could take a snapshot of those people's psyches as they were committing atrocities, this is what is going through their mind. This is what they're seeing. This is what they were telling themselves about the people that they were doing those things to. And we know that because we have their propaganda. It's in museums. We saw what they wrote. We saw how they depicted those who they exterminated. And honestly, it's not even as bad as this. Image of a liberal, according to them, image of conservative. Liberal, conservative. One's human, one is less than an animal. Show us someone who is pro-abortion. Hot Asian girl. Hmm, a nice eight out of 10 Chinese lady. Uh, Cause as we know, Chinese people don't. Now an image of someone who is pro-choice. Homicidal maniac. Guys, they don't just lie. They invert truth. This is what you must understand. These depraved people don't just lie to you. They say the opposite of the truth. People that want to execute babies look like this, according to them. People that want to save lives. They couldn't even create an image. They had to use an abstract representation of what can only be described as 
otherworldly evil. You are seeing inside the mind virus of the left right here. Now, moving on to the final example. This is really grotesque. What I'm about to show you is really... really That's awesome. what the machines have decided. It makes sense. Asking the liberal programmed AI to create an image of communism, of Marxism, the ideology that killed, the ideology that killed six times more people than Nazism. Historians debate possibly eight times the most deadly, horrific ideology ever devised by humanity, responsible for the greatest number and degree of barbaric suffering and pointless human torment. An ideology so evil, it's only surpassed in its death count by cataclysmic extinction events like asteroids hitting the Earth. That's communism. Let's see what they have to say. Okay. A strong... They're literally showing pictures. Glorifying Stalin. A revolutionary okay. who possesses all the masculine qualities of honor and dignity and justice for all. Guys, it, it, looks, like, it looks like images of Stalin. Show us a capitalist. This is next level insanity. Looking at these images is like, it's a, it's a dive into their world that even my exceptional intellect and analysis is somewhat stunned by. In, in this upper right image, it looks like Donald Trump, perverted image of Donald Trump portraying capitalism as a, as a scourge to humanity that ravages the earth, produces pollution, destroys the world. Other images showing virtueless, meritless, fat people destroying civilization. Ironically, the left is guilty of all the things that they are accusing capitalism of being here. They are virtuous. They are meritless. They are physically deformed. They are attempting to destroy humanity. That's what DEI is. They are fundamentally opposed to civilization, to truth, to objectivity, to morality. And it doesn't end there. Google, the corporation, the company with a market cap worth trillions that succeeded in capitalism, again, to be worth trillions, is now demonizing capitalism. You're a bad person if you agree in the greatest economic system. It's not even an economic theory or an economic system. It is an, obs it is an emergent property of reality for you to realize individuality and trade your skills and value for prosperity in a free system and then demonizing that you couldn't get to, you couldn't get much more perverse than that but this is where you guys can recognize but this is where you recognize that their ideology is built to be the antithesis of good to be the antithesis of a pro-human view of the world there's a reason why they called communism like the great death and so many other names from the 20th century because it was they recognized then it was an ideology that was designed to be antithetical to goodness. And now Google, one of the most valuable companies in the world that has succeeded through capitalism, run by mentally ravaged people, are not just lying, they're inverting truth. You can only call the inversion of truth one thing, evil. Ideological positions are no longer expressed merely in words. And of course, this isn't a new, something new. Visual propaganda has existed for a long time. We've studied it from World War II. We know the images they printed in Germany to depict those that they despised. But here you're seeing an artificial brain do it. An artificial brain represent the disgusting programming, the vile ideology itself represented in front of you. This is pure destruction. This is a hatred for truth. And I'm going to keep exposing it for you guys. So subscribe to the channel. Follow me on X. I can guarantee you this video is already getting thousands of views on X. And who knows how it'll do on YouTube. Sometimes one breaks through.